Welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Shilpi here and in this video, I will be sharing my experience that I had when I was selecting my dissertation topic during my post-graduation and I will be giving out some tips that you need to remember, some points that you need to remember when you are selecting your dissertation topic in your post-graduation. So let's get started. So the very first thing that you need to do when you enter your post-graduation department is you need to talk to your seniors, which is the most important thing. So when you talk to the seniors, you can talk about the topics that they have selected. And also when you talk talk about them and you can ask them, you know, how, what was the procedure that they followed when they selected their dissertation topic. And also when you talk to them about the topics, you will have kind of an idea about what are the ongoing topics or the trending topics in your field or in your branch of dentistry. When you talk to your seniors, you will be able to classify your topics into the various domains. Suppose, you know, when I was doing my post-graduation in oral medicine, so when I talked to them, I could basically understand the trending topics and I could understand there were some broad topics like oral cancer, forensic, or you know, chair side investigative procedures, or your CBCT was one of a very trending topic when I was doing my uh, post graduation. So you will basically uh, be able to jot down some of the broader areas when you talk to them. Then the, another thing that you need to remember while selecting your uh, topic is that the, you need to review the previous dissertations that have been done in your department. So when you do those dissertation, you will understand the kind of expertise your department carries or the topics in which your staff basically excels in. So always, this is a very, very important thing. Always and always choose a topic, dissertation topic, which your staff excels at, which they have knowledge about. Because what happens if you get stuck somewhere while conducting the research, they will be able to guide you well. We are kind of clueless. We don't know whom to reach out for if they don't have enough knowledge in that field of interest in which you are conducting your research. Then your college should basically have sufficient infrastructure or the instruments or the materials that you might need during the conduct of your thesis and also you should estimate the cost so you need to have a budget when you plan your thesis because sometimes the staining material that you use the kits that you use might not be available in india or you must not be a dealer in the local place where you're conducting your thesis and you might need to import a material from outside or some instrument like a microscope or something maybe using in your college so you need to know that you need to inquire that beforehand and you should select a research topic which you can conduct with ease funding may be one of the areas that you need to consider there is some amount of self-funding which is done by them and they apply to you you know, institutions, common institutions like ICMR or DBT, they, they submit a proposal and they can get funding from these external agencies. And also another thing that you need to consider is department dependency. So there are topics in which, you know, in your college itself, you might have, to, you might be collecting, suppose in perio, you might be collecting blood or, you know, in oral medicine, you might be collecting blood and saliva for your study. So you need to store it before you, you have to transfer it to the labs. So you should you should be assured that that facility of storing of blood at lower temperatures should be available in your college. And also suppose that you people or prosto have a study on implant, then suppose they have a dependency on CBCT, then you should know that in your oral medicine department should have a CBCT available. This is like a preference. If not, obviously there you can uh, rely on external labs, but you should try to make sure that if it's available it's in your college or in the vicinity at least so you should be aware that the time of the study that research dissertation for conducting your dissertation will be one year in which you will not only do the sample or the data collection but also your data analysis and your dissertation writing so you should be sure that the topic that you are choosing will all these steps should be completed in one 
year. Okay, so I had a lot of difficulties in obtaining permissions for, you know, using the research microscope when I needed it. Every time I wanted to use the microscope, I had difficulties in approaching the staff. So, but in those cases, when you have difficulty in understanding your topic and you have, you know, ended up choosing a topic, topic of another department, I would suggest you can be, go through the review of literature in such cases. And there is always an email which is given in your review articles, people who have conducted prior research, related research to your topic, you can actually contact them and you can ask them some doubts regarding your topic and they will be ready to help. Most of the people are really helpful. If you write down a mail, they help you. So now actually coming to the selection of the topics. So after talking to your seniors, after doing your research of the dissertation that have been done in your department, and also talking to your guide because you will have an idea what they are expecting out of you. That is also very important. So after you're done with all that, you can now identify some broad interest areas that you are interested in. And also another important thing that you need to remember when you're selecting your topic is just see, you know, what you want to do after you finish your PG and means you see it as a career path after you are done with your PG. And do you think your research will be still valid? You know, it will be still interesting after three years. Is it a trending topic? Has it not been done before? And the journals, you know, accept it after three years when you will be submitting it for publication? Will it be trending enough even at that time? So once you have jotted down these broader areas, basically now you need to narrow them, them down to particular Nikkei areas, small areas, but very specific areas. So how do we do that? So first and foremost thing that you can do is you can basically go about searching some topics on the university website. So most of the universities have a digital repository of dissertations that have been carried out. There are some foreign universities as well which list down the dissertations that have been carried out in the previous years. So when you go through them, you basically have an idea about you know, the topics that have been done in your department, your field. You might be interested in a particular topic. So some studies are because population-based studies. So there might be some studies that may have been done in US and those results are applicable to the US population but such studies need to be conducted in the Indian population for, as well for the study to be valid. So so such topics may be taken as such and you know with a little bit of variation and they can be taken up and adapted. But there are some topics that have been conducted previously in the Indian universities and you may you might want you know to conduct a similar kind of a study with a with some modifications. So now you can now start searching on Google Scholar. So this is the third thing now you need to do. So now you need to put your keywords. Suppose you want to do an investigation kind of a thing. So you start reading those articles like oral cancer and you can put whatever you want to search. You select your keywords and you put it in the in Google Scholar and you have a list of articles, you know, the recent articles, especially you can choose them ear wise. And when you choose an ear wise, you will actually get a list of articles there. So when you get a list of articles, there you can actually select few articles download few articles that you are interested in like you can actually not just search in google scholar you can put your uh, you know keywords in pubmed as well because there is an option on pubmed of and and or you know and or or not where you can actually specifically put your keywords and get the list of topics but i would suggest in the starting google scholar really helps you because in the starting it's easier to search the topics in google scholar rather than directly going to pubmed for searching the research topics and when you download those articles okay, what you can do you don't have to read the entire article you can go through the abstract of the article select some very few good articles which are pubmed indexed such articles can be chosen and then now you need to read the abstract of the article and also you can reach the read the conclusion or the introduction part of the article so when you go through that, the abstract will kind of give you a brief about the study. And also when you go through the conclusion part of it, there are some studies where you, they must have written that more studies need to be conducted. They will say that studies need to be conducted in this uh, temperature to carry forward that studies should be conducted in another gender to prove the relevance of the study. So when you see those things, when you read those things, you will basically be identifying the gaps 
in the research area that you are searching the topic into so basically it will give you a kind of idea about you know what things have not been done in those field and you know where there is a need for a research so you will get you know some idea about the topic you know that you can choose also you can go through the reference section and so when you go through the reference section you you might like some of the articles which you would like to download again and go through the abstract and also the conclusion part of it so these uh, small tips will basically uh, help you in narrowing down, down your thesis topics from the broad interest areas to actually come down to at least 5 to 10 topics that would be of interest to you so that brings us to the end of the video i hope the tips that i have given you are kind of little useful for you and if you've liked the video do hit the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching